Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Harrison because we need to get this handle sorted. We need to get the notching eradicated. So today we're going to fit the thrust bearings. First things first, take the two screws out of this little cover and that will, that will come off. Now down here, right inside, you can just see down here, that's your lead screw nut and there are two adjusting screws um, that's how I eradicated the sloppiness of my top slide was by adjusting those so before we take it apart uh, I'll just slacken those off so we can wind her back the gib strip needs to come out next I don't think this is the original gib strip Take your gib strip out and then it should all be quite loose and then just unwind it all the way backwards until it comes off there we are it's come on it's not moving now so we'll, we'll take that off right so we'll take the nut off Right, then that comes off. I'll carefully slide that off. One part of the thrust bearing is in that in the in there. The other part is here. Now I've already had this apart one, so it shouldn't be very tight, but it will probably spill loads of oil everywhere. Right, and there's the back of the other one because this has got two two thrust bearings there's, the, there's one bit there it is as you can see it's all rusty and dirty and brown uh, and that's the state of the of the thrust bearing and I've when I, I've already stripped this down and cleaned it and I put fresh whey oil in there and as you can see it's all it's all horrible and brown now and I will take this little cover off So this is just literally a cover and then this literally it's got a gear and we need that to come forward again right there's the other bit of the thrust bearing and there, there it is as you can see, look at the colour of that. That is just disgusting. And that was the state of the thrust bearings. Now, I'm not sure. Answers on a postcard. Should that have a bearing that goes on here? Right, so I will give this all a good clean. I'll give that a good clean. And then we'll, we'll put it back together again. Right, so I've got this clean here, as clean as I can get it. Uh, I've cleaned that block, that's nice and clean now. Uh, I've cleaned them screws, 
giving that a good clean so that's ready to go back on so the next bit is this the dial and this is a pain to get out oh that bit's come out but that bit sticks in so we need to take that shaft out because it's got a little spline shaft so there's some allen keys just undo them in fact i think these have springs in yeah these have the springs in so you've got to be super careful with this right. now that shaft now comes out and you can i'll just need to knock that off and give that a clean right so we're ready for reassembly now this was the uh, piece that we got off the dial so we'll do this bit first so that sits in there with obviously the uh, the screw well it's like a little I think it's bronze but it's like a bronze bush uh, and it just just stiffens that up so when you set in your dial it holds it where you want it these are the new thrust bearings as you have gone for SKF thought I might as well treat it these are measured exactly the same as the other ones so lovely lovely and new right there we go now right, I'll just go and press that in right so that's now pressed pressed in so we'll drop that that should hopefully yep that fits in there right, so that's gone in there very nicely right so next thing is one of these very small tiny bronze brass washer things just need to make sure it's sitting flat a bit difficult to see on the camera but it's now flat I can see it's flat in there spring goes in and then the grub screw goes back on we'll set that once it's all back together so then put some of that in that does feel a lot better a lot better than the uh, one we're just taking out now you're gonna laugh at this but this isn't the first time I've done this this is the second time because for some daft reason I didn't press record on the camera so I go to edit the video and then find half of it missing so here's the missing stuff, which you won't realise until I tell you now. So we slide the block on the Y axis and then we pop it in the hole. Making sure the gear lines up with the gear underneath. We start to assemble the thrust bearing. Right, so once we've got the th thrust bearing on, we then put this, this piece on. Screw that back together. So that's all pressed in. So now we put those on and then slide that over. And we'll then put the handle on. And the washer. Now this doesn't need to be tight. This just needs to be gently nipped up. So it just needs a little tiny. Next we put this plate on four tiny tiny screws in so this is the underside of the top slide that goes across here now the player that I was having in the top cross slide was due 
to this nut here this brass nut you can just see it it has hopefully you can get I can get this on the camera it has a slit in it so you can adjust the the thread to get rid of the slack or the backlash uh, and it's done by these two nuts here and the, the more you tighten those that gap compresses and that eliminates your backlash now this one didn't have the two nuts so I don't know whether they've been removed or they've been lost or they weren't there originally I went around the workshop and I found two suitable hex head bolts they seem to be doing the trick so we'll put this back on Hopefully we can get this to grab straight away. There we go, she's on. So we put the gib in with the bolt, which I'm quite sure is not the original bolt and not the original gib strip. But it seems to be doing the trick. Right, that's good. Feels all right. We've got the backlash, so I'll just tighten those nuts up at the back until we've got rid of that backlash. Feels good. Obviously, this has been this has been uh, butchered by somebody. This this tool post because I'm quite sure that this was a ratchet one. So every time you turn the handle, you could it it, it spun round to the 90 degrees to the next one, and again, and then again, and then again. But it's been absolutely butchered, and there's not much of it left which is a shame. I'd like to get myself a Dixon style tool holder. Right, so what's left is just this cover to put back on. So just the two uh, bolts here. So there we go. That's that fixed. It definitely, it's definitely an improvement it's really smooth seems to have a little stiff spot um not quite sure what that is i think it's more maybe those dials hitting there i don't know it's an old machine it's it's probably got a bit of wear on it but it's not it's not as notchy as it was before nowhere near now you'll have seen this already being used in the format that it's in maybe not as messy as this because uh that's my next job is to tidy up after a cup of tea of course. If you like what you see on the channel, please do click the like button. It'll help the video spread a bit further on the YouTube. And if you would like to subscribe to the channel, by all means, please do click the like button and the notification bell, and you'll get notified when we next release a video. Laters. Turny, 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 turny. Cutty, cutty, turny, turny.